Hey, six. Now, the march of another invading army of illegals in Guatemala, the so-called caravan of illegal immigrants headed for our border, is moving north toward Mexico. The group is right on schedule, and it is growing in size. President Trump on Tuesday threatened to withdraw funding and aid from Honduras if it does not stop a large caravan of people that's heading north to the United States. A caravan that at one point carried more than a thousand Central Americans made headlines in April. Just over a hundred wound up crossing into the U.S. to make their case for asylum. So it's immigration free for all south of us. These people know that they can come to our border and exploit loopholes in our Swiss cheese-like immigration system. All they have to do is walk up to one of our border agents and say the magic word, asylum, and they're in. However, the president has a warning for these people and their countries of origin. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, I've suggested on this program that the president ought to give orders to the border agents and uh, immigration agents and say when these people get to the border, and they will, they'll get there, um, when they get to the border, just say no. And you know what? It may set up a mini constitutional crisis with these activist judges um, and, and uh, frankly, the, the Article One branch of government, who knows? But we're already in a constitutional crisis. Graham, imagine if Canada started proposing, organizing thousands of Canadians to cross the border from the north, and they made it very clear they were coming to shoplift, um, vandalize cars, uh, petty theft rings, and so on. The outcry would be tremendous. Why is this any different? These people are proclaiming they're coming to commit felonious immigration violations against the United States of America, and for some reason, this isn't widely condemned. Look, I'm all for helping people, but let's help the people at home first. Hundreds of thousands of homeless, veterans that aren't being taken care of, people in dire need of clean water. And what are we doing? We're, we're going to let people in for asylum and put them to the head of the line? This is about voting. They're going to register these people to be illegal voters in the United States, and that's why it's not being condemned universally. I wish they would be more honest when they came to the uh, point of supporting, helping the world. This is an invading army. That's the way I look at it. And uh, under Article 2 of the United <laughs> States Constitution, the president is the commander-in-chief, and he has the authority to order people under him, a.k.a. the border agents, to just say no. And I think that's what, exactly what he should do. Now, think about this, Barry. Since 1992, on the national political stage, since 92, there has always been a Clinton involved some way, somehow, in the election cycles, the national election cycles. And of course, Hillary's out there now involved in this one. I am stunned that big name New York donors, female donors, seem to think that Hillary Clinton is the best friend that women ever had. In reality, she on a national stage in say the last half a century, Graham, has been the worst enemy women have ever had, at least the women that came forward and accused her husband of sexual assault, rape, and battery. Does everyone forget the fact that Hillary just demolished those women in the press for decades? And now she's the fundraising guru for women's causes. Wow, what a short memory, or at least when it comes to are you raising money for us or them, the uh, flexibility is rather disingenuous. Well, uh, we need a Broderick, we'll never forget, that's for sure. And if you are a Democrat in the modern Democrat Party, apparently uh, we're seeing this uh, time and time again now. If you love God and you love country, you're not allowed in. Wow, this guy uh, that got fired uh, in Pennsylvania, he's a Marine veteran that was the local head of the Democrat Party, and he was dismissed for tweeting that he kneels for God and stands for the flag, and they called him a racist and bounced him out of the party. I'm Stunned. And it was defended all the way to the head of the Democrat Party in Pennsylvania because they said the guy is, get this, Graham, uh, a racist because he supported a police officer that he knows personally who was accused of killing an African-American. Remember, 
you're guilty until proven innocent in the press at least if you're on the wrong side of liberal versus conservative i.e. Brett Kavanaugh. You're this is no different. It's just local. Guilty until proven innocent. That's the mantra now of the modern Democrat Party. And this case <laughs> shows just how far the modern Democrat Party has sunk down into the anti-American, anti-constitutional gutter. That's where they are. Barry, thanks.